so good morning and at the moment it is quite dark it's uh, 6 45 in the morning so about 15 minutes before the sun comes up and i'll set off uh, to meet my colleague uh, peng peng uh, and cycle to work uh, with her show her a new route uh, that is safer than what she did before uh, let me just show you a few upgrades to the bike um, since last time so so of course i have this proper seat installed right now i'm carrying some luggage then i had some uh, bigger um, tires uh, installed both front and back um, and that's really nice because with the um, potholes you don't puncture as easily so that's a great relief when i drive around and then i had that dynamo installed so if i just switch on the battery you will see uh, that this uh, strong light comes on in front and this is actually a very a good quality dynamo that uh, will sort of flash the light across the street um, so and that will also help me to see the the um, potholes and here on the back there's also a, a light so by right this dynamo has to draw the power from the uh, uh, from the wheel typically the front wheel but because there's a huge battery here so uh, it's just wired up so it taps the power directly from the battery and then the for the back one the, the wire runs inside the frame and through my uh, saddle uh, seat post so quite happy with that so this is actually the first time I'm trying out the dynamo in the dark uh, I'm wearing this kind of a yellow vest as you can maybe see here to be a little bit more visible at night um, because being struck by a car that don't expect you is the biggest danger in my view so let's see if uh... so the trouble is always getting out as a cyclist one of the discriminations <laughs> as a cyclist you don't have a horn uh, so today the guards were quite quick to see me. So uh, yeah, so then so I've been stuck there many times actually because the guards didn't can't hear my bell and then they never look left direction and then you're just stuck. So, so yeah, early morning, the dynamo seems to be working fine. And actually I can control whether it should be on or off at the uh, display panel here on the bike. So even in the daytime, I'll typically just have the dynamo on because the light give you a little bit of extra security. Here we are passing by my nearest MRT train station. So that's really convenient actually to have that so close. Even though I prefer to cycle everywhere. And wow, I've uh, almost never seen this street so empty. It's always cars parked on the side. Quite a busy street usually, but not before 7 a.m. in the morning. So I'm going to this place. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, this building is the 118 uh, high rise and it's the second tallest building in the world so and it's sort of completing <sighs> it's meant to show the first prime minister of malaysia Tunku abdul rahman when he declared independence for malaysia so he was holding up his hand in the air and shouted three times uh, 
which means uh, that means is it free? No, not freedom. Uh, liberation. Or independence. That must be independence. Sorry. Yeah. Um, so that act of him holding up the hand. Uh, that's what this building is uh, supposed to represent. It's a little bit of a stretch. I I would have no clue if I just saw the building like that. But uh, that's that's sort of the iconic independence uh, act of Malaysia. This declaration of uh, Maudeka three times by uh, the first prime minister in uh, 1957. So. Now we have a building to commemorate that, or to celebrate that. Oops. So hilly, so I'm going full boost mode here, helping me up the hill. And uh, now it might get a little bit hairy, so let me just see to get to the other side and I think I have to cycle a bit on the sidewalk to get to the meeting point. Okay, so the construction is done. And there's now a nice sidewalk. This was used to be a uh, sort of construction prone dirt path okay, very nice and of course here's uh, one of the main stations that will be serving that huge tower so it makes sense that the pedestrian infrastructure caters to all these people who will hopefully be commuting by train. Good morning. Thank you. <laughs> Give me a thanks up, uh, thumbs up. Crossing some of the train tracks. to make room for all these train overpasses passes and so on. Aha! Well here comes a challenge, I have to cross this street. I just have to look out for the fast motor planks. Okay. So this is the morning rush hour traffic coming in. And uh, this is where it's great to be on a bicycle because you can bypass a lot of this again. Interesting, I did a lot of cycling when I went to Singapore uh, recently and a school uniform. And uh, the, virtually nowhere you had to fear about falling into a grill or hitting a pothole or anything like that. So it was, it actually made the cycling much more pleasant because you didn't have to constantly look for the next 10 meters that you would be riding on and to avoid an accident from the road itself. So uh, thank you. So uh, something for Malaysia to aspire to as well. 
see all the workers coming probably to work on the on that tall building so the daylight is starting to uh, come out which is great for cycling because that makes it easier to road and avoid crashes I'll be meeting my colleague Peng Peng who was cycling um, uh, last year and I did a video with her um, cycling to work and since then she had a actually after the last video a lot of people commented that, that they thought it was, was didn't look safe her, her commute because she had to go on the highway and on some quite traffic roads um, so I think that made her hesitate a bit on whether she should really be cycling uh, with this input from others and in addition to that uh, she also had some knee problems so she had some operation on that so now she's back fit for fight and she has this parking lot uh, here uh, along the street so then she will be cycling from here ah here she is hi Bing Bing hey how are you <laughs> just arrived Okay. So, ready to uh, yeah. ready to go. Oops. Oh, fuck. Let me. I can. Uh, oh, oops. Is it okay? You have I have a color, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I I found it uh, no problem, but I had to go against the. Uh, I had to ride a bit on the sidewalk to get here. Uh, oh, you, I, I saw you. Uh, oh, on the map. Right from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My life, yeah. 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 Correct. So. Uh, so the first time I went on those roads. Oh. So. Uh, oh, this is. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. How is it? But now they not staying here. So uh, renting it out or? Stay here. Oh, okay. But she doesn't have a car. Sister, huh? She doesn't have a car, so that's why you can park here. Or? Ah, yes. Oh, okay. She's very old already. Yeah, yeah. Old. Oh, perfect. <laughs> this one I I take, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I can, I can carry up to a hundred kilograms. <laughs> so <laughs> you can bring uh, bring your big uh, <laughs> beauty box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think we should be able to drive through here, right? Yes. And connect. Yeah. yeah. So I leave here. Uh, yes. I take this. Do you have anything else I need to care? No. Oh, so light. So your change of clothes is in the in the office, or? Yeah, I got inside my bag. Okay. Yeah, just nice.
yeah the street light just switched off so perfect so yeah we go up to the chinese assembly hall see other people cycling as well oh really uh, he watching car over there. oh really <laughs> oh wow <laughs> and I he's used always to to, i used to stay this house oh this uh, last one or, or the new condo no no this car yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah oh okay so he has has he always been cycling around in those 30 years? Uh, uh, the guy, yes. Yeah. Okay. I think we can... Uh, you see where those people are walking? There's a path up to... Uh, but I think maybe we can connect over here. I had a little bit of a scouting scouting session last time, but there was a few dogs running around. So I was like, okay, never mind. Yeah. I don't know if we can connect here. Okay, we can't. But anyway, if you know uh, if you know a road, uh, yeah, I think so. yeah, okay, I follow you. It's been blocked, right? I think we. Oh, actually, here, Bing Bang, there's a small path here. We just have to uh, to pull the bike. This bike, the battery, can actually, when you walk the bike, you can, uh, yeah, it can give you a push at about four kilometers an hour when you walk. So it's quite, quite useful for these kind of steep hills. But I never really used it, so I just had a little bit of trouble. Ping Ping, I think we uh, we turn right here. I think that turn right here. Yeah. Follow me. Yeah. This, this one we don't want to cross, so we have to keep going straight. Sorry about that. Uh, maybe we... Yeah, maybe that's better. Should we go back to the road? Oh, okay. Are you... Yeah, sorry about that. We can just continue along this. Not, not the best sidewalk. Imagine if you come here with a wheelchair. Wow. Like the 
your old family member. Is she in a wheelchair? Uh, cannot yeah, exactly. Cannot go here, right? Yeah, I, actually, because if we could get over there. Then this is your yeah. Me, yeah, yeah, I think so too. <laughs> I forgot about this slip road, which is really busy in the morning and not safe. Yeah, so we have to, yeah, we follow your route, I think. I think there's a gate on the other side. That's a gate. Oh, yeah, also over there. I think we just go straight. I think we can cycle again. Yeah, you can go first. Way, right so we have to go and do the u-turn yeah. yeah which is also maybe not so safe because there's a lot of cars right yeah 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 you want to do we can we can can we connect to that uh, no cannot really I think actually I think it might be easier just to cycle back and uh, and make the connection down there because here we also have to cross okay, uh, there's some grills and this kind of thing so we just go straight but you can uh, ex experiment the other in the future did a scouting mission and the sidewalks here are quite terrible and, and it's a bit difficult to get across in a safe way and watch out that's a step yeah Here there's uh, wow, it's quite noisy. <laughs> so here, here there's two options. One is uh, we go up there, cross there, but there's also a bit of traffic, and then we can connect. The other option is, you see where the curb comes down over there? There's actually an underpass, but that underpass is very dirty uh, and it's full of mud and some debris. So. It, it's not really nice, so I think, and here it's not too busy in the morning, it looks like, so I think we, we take this one. But uh, we can have a look at that underpass uh, uh, when we get there from the other side.
Yeah, we have to get up these staircase. I I just go around, but we have to go down this way. Okay. You you can just carry if you want. <clears throat> Look at this beautiful Malay house here. Yeah. National Department for Culture and Arts. Then we turn left here. Yep, yeah, left here. So after all these gymnastics, we should be getting to the proper bicycle path. So actually, yeah, watch out, no grill here. Yeah. Let me just show you over here. This is the uh, this yeah that's the other underpass uh, but you can see it's full of there's a lot of mud and I don't know it's not so <laughs> but that's that's another option I we should write to the city council to to clean it yeah. Watch, watch out. So now we are, now we are at the river of life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so safe. If you can make it to, to here. Yeah, yeah. And, and this is a bit of a, uh, where a lot of homeless people hang out, as you can see. But I think it's quite safe. They never really bother about me. And mostly give me a thumbs up or something. <laughs> so, because there's a ramp down just there when we came out. And then they can go, there's a water supply down there. So they often wash down there. Yeah. So this river of life only is continuous on one side of the river, so that's why we have to cross here and then continue on the other side. turning red yeah mm. but now you are okay right yeah yeah so is do you think that's a okay passage to get to the real life i mean what we just did yeah yeah, yeah. should be okay right yeah should be okay yeah yeah it's just uh, the i get out from the chinese assembly hall that side of it. yeah so i have to there's yeah. a busy road yeah exactly yeah yeah, yeah. The yeah the u-turn it's not but now nowadays the u-turn not so busy I think that that U-turn crossing that road is is the most dangerous part. Yeah, but uh, uh, but I think oh, yeah, there's a long stretch, so you can look back and find the right time. Yeah, and also if you maybe cycle faster, you'll be more in, in, aligned with uh, the traffic here. Yeah. <laughs> so so yeah, so, the, to me that's always the the trick to oh, okay. to try to go the same speed as the traffic if you can. Okay, let's go. 
here you also have to be careful of cars turning right, uh, turning this way. Yeah. Yep. So you go down the, the ramp here on the left. It's a bit narrow, so. Oh, you, you can go first. Yeah. Yes. And. So that's a bit narrow, but okay lah. But it's not so practical because other people uh, coming the other way are also using that, right? So, so then it's a bit of a bottleneck. But I think not so many people. <laughs> yeah, not yet. Maybe, maybe <laughs> they walk, yeah. Yeah, or well, even people walking will also be using it. They always look for, for people coming the other way. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so far it's not a problem, but this is supposed to be a uh, one of the major bicycle corridors into KL, so so people will be coming mostly that way in the morning from Mid Valley to go to town, right? So you're going the opposite way. Yeah, I mean, I I think so. Once once this uh, gets connected properly to PJ, I think a lot of people will be doing it. Yeah, but it just hasn't happened yet. So. So when I go when I go, when I uh, come back from office, I have to use this route as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can. It's. It's so fast, ah. I feel already. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, Fine. Oh. On CKL is the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how? Oh, oh, wow. oh, wow, they're having a hug. Morning hug ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just go straight. <laughs> Double hug. Wow. Okay. I don't think they were able to go to work. <laughs> Look like they've been drinking all night. <laughs> so here, keep right because it's a bit wider. Go first. And we uh, turn right here. Okay, go out on the road. right oh, all the school children and the school hi the school uh, vans <laughs> yeah Interesting. I normally ride a bit later, so I don't see all the school kids usually. <laughs> yeah. So always fun to see the the city at a different time. Okay. Here we can actually, yeah. Even though it's, it's red, because it's our lane. So if you just go carefully. much 
for the bike lane. So, when you you have never really been riding on this side, this no. part of the no. of the river of life, right? Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, good. So you get to try something new. <laughs> So we, uh, yeah, so it's a bit busy at this time, I can see, with all the people dropping off kits. So here you can connect back to the, the river of life, but, but we have to cut through to uh, cross to Bangsa. On this uh, this stretch we just passed, there's uh, often uh, quite a few people selling food and fruits and vegetables in the morning, even like big teddy bear. At least when you come a bit later. Yeah. So it's quite a happening place. Yeah. So, uh, but anyway, so now we uh, we just go to uh, we have to try to filter across, but we do it a bit further up. Road. Again, we have to filter to the other side, which can be fairly easily done when you have so much traffic. Here we go.
blocking my wheel. There's something blocking my wheel. I just have to. Oh. It was the dynamo. Okay. It was a dynamo that was pushed down by your bag. Yeah. Okay, we can go. <laughs> It was as if it was constantly braking. I was pushing down the, the bicycle frame or the, the fender on the wheel. Yeah. So here we will go up and take the, the uh, pedestrian crossing. Yeah. Hey! Okay. This one is very slow. Oh, actually, this one is fast in the morning, but then uh, watch out. Yeah, you always have to watch out for the motorbikes because they will they will go no matter what. Yeah. But then the dumb thing is the next one is not linked. So now we have to wait for five minutes or something. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but it's very long this wait. You, you'll see. So I will follow your uh, From where? You shall wait to office to use BSC, right? Uh, yeah. This time I yeah, yeah. Yes. Try. Yeah, because then it, I think the hill is a bit more gradual. Uh -huh. So this is like Regina. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. When I cycle, if I cycle after 9, then I'll take this road. If there's a lot of traffic, I can filter across. And then I can turn down there at uh, Jalan oh. but, but, oh. but in the morning, that one is not open until 9 o'clock. Yeah. So... Oh, the, you use the usual way, because you can yeah. ride very fast. Like yeah. The yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I always look at the traffic. If, if there's no jam and the cars come very fast, then... Okay, I, I'm not gonna... Uh, Gonna, like like these cars, I, there's no way I'm gonna filter through this kind of traffic. But but uh, if if there's a little bit of jam and I can go more or less the same speed, I will filter. Oh yeah, nine o'clock is very jam. Yeah, exactly. And then nine o'clock they open up that turn. But at the moment it's actually closed because they want to give preference to cars coming into town. Oh, it's getting green. Watch out for the motorbikes. Watch out. Because the motorbikes, the motorbikes just go no matter what. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Okay, we go. Yeah. I 
need a smaller gear. <laughs> Do the gears work? <laughs> and we turn left here. So this is, uh, so we come out near Christie's uh, father's workshop. And here we go straight. This intersection is quite busy. We cycle straight to the office, or you want to stop for breakfast? Or, How about you? Um, I normally don't eat breakfast, but, uh, don't but, but if you do, I don't mind. Yeah, I don't need. You don't need? Yeah. Are you sure? Just get some biscuits. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Because one option uh, is to, uh, to have takeaway breakfast, and then it's quite nice to ride up to the uh, Kebun Kebun Bangsa.